What would a potion bottle be made out of? I'm Heath, and today we're going to be investigating potions, and specifically what containers would be used to hold them. Today, of course, we have plastic and aluminum bottles, and if I were going to be carrying around my precious potion on a modern-day adventure, I would definitely store them in one of those kinds of bottles. But if we're in a medieval fantasy setting, that likely isn't available. First of all, how we're going to store the potion probably depends on how much liquid we have to carry. This depends, in part, on how much liquid you have to swallow in order to get the magical effect. It also depends on how many different kinds of potions you have to keep separate in individual containers that you have to take with you. For instance, if you want to take 10 doses of health potion, do you have to carry 10 different bottles, or can you just pour all of the doses into a single large container like a canteen and just take a gulp when you need it? Some fantasy depictions, like this image of a hero in Hero Quest chugging the heroic brew, which is a single-use item, implies that the character needs to imbibe a lot of fluid in order to get the effect. In that case, if you're taking along a half a dozen or more healing potions, and then four or five other kinds of potions, you're lugging around a lot of liquid, and that can get heavy. But, artistic depictions aside, it seems that most fantasy role-playing games have gone with more of a potion dose equals shot amount of liquid. A typical shot is about one and a half ounces. Generally, that seems to line up with the small size potion bottles you see in bandoliers and in slots on belts for live action role playing. Pop it open, down the shot, and the magic takes effect. Although I could not find the post most recently when I was looking, I recall that Sean Punch, the GURPS line editor, had stated on the Steve Jackson Games forums that GURPS Dungeon Fantasy assumes that potions are shot like vials, and so bandoliers of potions for dungeon delvers would exist. As far as I'm aware, 5th edition Dungeons & Dragons does not give a definitive amount of liquid for a healing potion, but it seems that a lot of people go with 4 ounces because under the entry for the Potion of Healing on page 153 of the PHB, it says the potion comes in a vial. On the same page, there is a table of container capacities that says a vial holds 4 ounces of liquid, so that is one-third again more than two shot glasses full of liquid, but it's still a manageable amount of liquid to carry with you, especially if you're going to be carrying several potions. Interestingly, there is precedent in the Lord of the Rings for shot-sized amounts of potion having its magical effects. This is the Miravor that Gandalf brings from Imladris, Rivendell. Gandalf says, just a mouthful each, for all of us. It is very precious. It is Miravor, the cordial of Imladris. Elrond gave it to me at our parting. Pass it round. A mouthful sounds about like a shot, and all the fellowship passes around the Miravor like everyone taking a sip of whiskey from a flask. I like the imagery there. I believe that Gandalf gives the members of the fellowship a shot of Miravor three times. Assuming Gandalf also drank, which he appears to, that would mean Gandalf brought forty and a half ounces of Miravor with him. That may not have been all of the Miravor, and he may have gone off the bridge at Kazadum with more still on him. Let's say he brought enough for every member of the Fellowship to have four shots. That's 54 ounces of cordial. That is 0.42 gallons, or about 1.6 liters. When you think about 42% of a gallon milk jug, that's a fair amount of liquid that Gandalf was carrying with him, but he got a lot of effect out of it. Interestingly, the orcs also have their own orc liquor that works in a similar way, and also appears to take effect with something like a shot-like amount. In the Two Towers, when Merry and Pippin are captured by the uruk it is reported that Ugluck thrust a flask between his teeth and poured some burning liquid down his throat. He felt a hot, fierce glow flow through him. The pain in his legs and ankles vanished. He could stand. Now what do you carry the potion in? I see a lot of glass potion bottles online. Some of them look really neat, especially the ones with the really nice leather that's designed to be hung from the belt. I also see bandoliers of potion bottles and steampunk-like gear with potion bottles on leather straps. They would probably even be functional if you were not expecting any action of an adventuring nature, but if you were going into combat, they're likely too fragile. Our DM made up some potion bottles with the D4 dice in them for healing potions for our game, and I accidentally knocked one off the table. It shattered into a thousand little pieces when it hit the floor. I don't want to be carrying around something glass like that if I'm an adventurer. You know it's going to break. Adventuring is just too rough and tumble to trust something so important, like a healing potion that's designed to save your life. Besides, if your potion bottles are in easily accessible areas so you can get at them while you're in action, the enemy is likely to target your potion bottles, putting them at even further risk. If you were wearing breakable bottles on your belt, or lots of little breakable bottles of some kind on a bandolier, those are going to be targeted by the enemy. 
especially if potions are common, everyone knows what they are. Those may need to be eliminated from the battle first off. Smashing someone's healing potion sounds like a great opening shot in battle. So these bottles would need to be able to survive not only the incidental damages from adventuring, such as falling down, but also direct targeted attacks by foes. It occurred to me that for modern-day adventurers who need to store shot-like potions, the 5-hour energy shot bottles would be great for potion storage. They can hold just under 2 ounces of liquid. They're plastic and so durable, but also fit well in bandoliers or on belts or in pouches. But how a medieval fantasy adventurer might carry potions with him might be a lot like how he or she would carry other liquids, whether that's water, wine, beer, or something else. Ceramic bottles might be more durable than glass bottles, but they're still likely to be rather fragile. In some worlds, there might be metal canteens, which would seem to be a very good and durable choice for potion storage. But canteens were also made out of wood. I found this example of a wooden canteen from Oberflacht, Germany, which is said to be from the 7th century. So that is a very early example of a potentially great way to store potions in adventuring conditions. But what about water skins and leather? Those are durable and have been used for a long time, and in fact, in the Lord of the Rings, that's exactly what the precious mirror of war is stored in. Give them this, said Gandalf, searching in his pack and drawing out a leathern flask. The orc liquor that Ugluck has in the Two Towers is also described as being in a flask. And being one of the uruk -hai, it doesn't seem like that flask would be anything particularly ornate. Wooden or leather flasks might not be especially glorious. The idea of powerful magic potions being in ornate glass or crystal bottles is alluring, but such must give way to the practicalities of adventuring if you're going to be on the move with them. That also means that adventurers might find valuable potion in rather nondescript containers. The adventurer might even have his own leather bottle that he uses for healing potions. Whenever he goes into town to buy more, the dispensary might just fill up the flask from a barrel with a beer tap-like nozzle behind the bar. And hey, if a leather flask is good enough for the Miravor of Imladris, then it's good enough for anything else, I think. I have not ever played Pathfinder, but while looking for different methods of potion storage, I did encounter the Potion Sponge. It says the Potion Sponge is an egg-sized sponge covered in a layer of waterproof edible wax designed to absorb one dose of potion. Chewing a Potion Sponge and swallowing its liquid contents is a full round action. A creature of at least large size can swallow the sponge in its entirety. Other creatures must spit out the sponge once it's depleted, a free action. Unlike a potion that is drunk from a vial, a potion sponge can be used underwater. A potion can be poured from a vial into a potion sponge, or squeezed from a sponge into a vial as a full round action. The potion sponge is immune to attacks that specifically target crystal, glass, ceramic, or porcelain, such as shatter. It otherwise works like a potion vial. How's that for a high fantasy take on potion storage? If you've enjoyed this video, please check out the playlists on my YouTube channel. I have a lot more on tabletop games, fantasy, action figures, and more, all organized by playlists. So find a topic you're interested in, click the playlist, and enjoy some videos. I will see you in many more videos to come.